Ever watch a firefly on a warm summer night? They are just amazing. When living things light up, it's called bioluminescence. Ever wonder how it works? It's a bit like this light stick. Take a look at this. It's a light stick. Now, a light stick has two parts to it. You can see there's a chemical in here that's got a, a color. It's kind of a reddish color. Inside of this, there's a second chemical inside a second container. And when I bend this and snap it, I'm going to break that inner container and flood this entire chamber with two chemicals. They're going to react together. And they cause a small reaction that excites the molecules inside the two chemicals and causes the glow stick to glow. Take a look. And what I'm doing is breaking that inner container and now this is glowing. See that? Fireflies also mix two chemicals that react together and light up, just like the light stick. The difference is fireflies produce those chemicals inside their bodies. Take a look at these close-up views. Here is a firefly from the side, and now here it is from the bottom, looking up. Insects have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. It's the abdomen that lights up in a firefly. It naturally produces the chemicals that it needs in order to create a glow on summer nights in order to communicate with other fireflies. Fireflies are not the only living things that light up in nature. Glowworms also produce light. In the ocean, certain types of algae glow at night, and several different kinds of fish such as the anglerfish, produce light that attracts their dinner. Most of us are familiar with fireflies because there are so many around here in the summer months, but that may not always continue. Like many insects, firefly populations are decreasing because of human activity. And perhaps also from my dog. <laughs>